Gerard Malouf, that's me. My business is Gerard Malouf and Partners, compensation, medical negligence, will dispute lawyers. And uh, we're very specialized in this area of law, been doing it for over 35 years and loving it. We operate throughout uh, Sydney, New South Wales, Queensland, and a little bit in Victoria. But we're happy to go wherever our work requires us and we are delighted to look after our deserving clients to maximise any compensation entitlements that they have. What gets our business and me going every day is a love for our client. Any member of staff that comes to our business, I say, will you love our clients? You have to love them. And that's what makes the difference. And that gets me going because we will be successful because we will have a wonderful relationship. We know what we can achieve for our clients. We know the expertise that we have and we want our clients to believe in us. That gets me going. My family came to Australia, Lebanese Christian, 1887. They came out here, they had nothing. I've been driven all my life because my father and his three brothers were born in the Gulf of Carpentaria. They were uh, up in the bush, a long way away, but they all became doctors. That same drive that got them from up in the Gulf of Carpentaria migrant family to become doctors has been imbued in me. I want to achieve something great and I'm going to do it. I don't believe I've done it yet even though we've been pretty successful but I believe we're going to do it in the future even more so. Coming from a migrant family that's one issue but having a father that was a doctor with whom I used to go daily to the hospitals to do his calls and his late night visits I used to sit in the car like a little boy and he'd come out He'd give me a few sandwiches and say, um, thanks for sitting in the car. One day, he cried. He looked at me and he cried. I said, Dad, what's wrong? He says, all I ever want for you is that you use your ability to the best that you can possibly do. I'll never forget that moment, I'll never forget that moment because I was probably eight years old. And I said, this is my father crying. And that instilled in me something a power, a belief, a drive, something so incredible that I'll never forget. If you've been successful in business, and apparently we are, although I never think that way, because we've won billions of dollars for the community, you have to give back. I mean, there's no question. It's not should, may, you have to. Because your definition and any definition of success in life is not what you make and what you take out, it's what you give back. And you better give back something and if you make plenty by being successful, you can give back plenty. Um, our firm likes to help charities, we like to help hospitals and we also like to help surf life-saving life associations. But you know, it's endemic and it's incumbent upon all of us that we must give back. If someone were to ask me, what's the one thing that you would give as advice to people starting out business or in life, I'd have to say to them, never think about money, think about people. Think about how you can serve people, how you can make them happy, how you can make them feel comfortable, how you can make them feel confident. Because whatever business you're in, if you can achieve those three things, even if you're mediocre at what you do, you're gonna make a great business. That's what it's all about.